Williams, it's been a long time since we've done a video such as this. Welcome back to Warframe Tutorial Guides. <coughs> oh, fucking hairball. <coughs> I need to dust my room, holy shit. Ugh. That or else I need to do more of these videos so that way the damn dust doesn't clutter up on the way. Either way, onward. Uh, if I remember correctly, we uh, last end up... Uh, I ended up covering over the different mission types in the solar map. I have explained uh, most of the things, how to get into your ship from the beginning, from the Vor's Prize, which, if requested, I will actually, if I can, I should be able to go back and replay that quest, which Vor's Prize, no, I, it will not let me. Okay, never mind. Uh, if requested, I will actually make a new, whole new account and... Um, do a video of how to do that, which is basically the controls and all that. Um, we've covered uh, the rest of the ship, what you need to do, uh, basic ways of getting endo and credits, which there are advanced ways now how to do that, and I will be covering those in later videos. Um, for right now, I'm basically explaining base knowledge and building on top of it for all of you to watch and learn and then do and experience and build your way up to as well. Now, now what we are going to do, you have your basic weapons, your basic frame, uh, you have be able to basic controls, uh, you've gotten a couple bits of endo, credits, you've learned how to do the, the force prize quest, all that. So now we're going to actually start making some progress. We're going to get up to our uh, our, um, our, uh, our our navigation, and uh, all players will begin on Earth. So what you want to do is actually begin clearing out your solar map. And what I mean by this is that you want to go through every single one of these little nodes, and at first they're going to appear to be gray. You can't get to them, but you see how they're all connected. To, they play connect the dots with these little suckers there. They're going to be gray at first, and some of them are going to flash blue. The blue ones you've never done, as I've explained before, but you are going to turn them into white nodes so you can go back and do them all the way through. There's a reason to this, and I will explain that later on because there is a type of mission that is relatively hard, but th they're basically called arbitration missions. These suckers are incredibly tough, as you can see here, 6 to 80, but, uh, and they give you very decent rewards, um, but in order to get to it, you have to clear out not all these mission nodes, not just all these mission nodes, but all the mission nodes in the entire mission, like, solar map that includes Kuva Fortress. Uh, for, for intermediate players, not just advanced players, but for intermediate players that want to get to that, but haven't, they're kind of stalling on some other missions because they don't really want to get to them. You might want to go do them now because you're not going to be able to get to arbitrations until later. Uh, that includes uh, that includes Jordis Precept. That includes Lephantis. That wrong freaking one. Lephantis over here. Okay. That, that includes everything. Okay. So, back to this. You're going to go through and clear out all these mission nodes. And you're going to actually start working your way down towards Venus. This is the way I uh, did it. You can actually go wherever the hell you please. But uh, the easiest way that I found was down to Venus Junction. You're going to complete Venus Junction. And uh, when you get to the Venus Junction, over to the left, you'll see a series of objectives you must complete. And these objectives apply to any mission that you do that is on Earth. Complete Vor's Prize. That's a tutorial quest. You'll get that done. Collect 20 mods. You'll get those from just playing the game. Just from playing the game. Um, apply four mods to the sing to a single Warframe or weapon, and I'll explain that one if it's a little unclear here in just a second. And upgrade any mod to rank two or higher in the fusion process. And down below, you'll see as it cycles through six different types of rewards you'll get. Uh, it gives you a mod, gives you a weapon blueprint, uh, gives you another mod, uh, gives you a Sentinel 
blueprint, which you'll be able to build and have yourself a little floating buddy. It gives you a resource bundle and some credit bundle. Okay, so Venus Junction is very bountiful for uh, beginning players, so we're going to work our way towards that. As for the last two objectives of it, I will show you. When we get back here, when we go all the way back here to our arsenal, I've already explained, I'm pretty sure, how to upgrade mods and all that, and if I didn't, I'm sure the game has. So when we upgrade... Operator. Shut up, Mortis. Covered in blood. Okay, so when we hover over this, you see all these little nodes to the bottom, these little blue dots. Those originally are grayed out. Let's see if I can find one here. Do, 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 do. Ah, here we go. See these little nodes at the bottom of the, of the mod? They're grayed out, okay? You want to, for the last objective, it means to fuse it. Basically upgrade a mod to second notch. So we're going to take... We're going to take this buddy right here. He's in R3, okay? Because he got three little, three little notches at the bottom. So we're going to go down to mods, and we're going to find the. Uh, we're already on the installed tab. This is all the mods that we have installed throughout all three little tabs for our Warframe or equipment or whatever the hell you have going on. You select it. You're going to go to Fusion. You're going to go up to two. I don't really do half-ass, so I'm going to go up to three. But you can go only up to two if you so choose. But it's you get better stuff if you uh, put up to three. Increases the, the cost of it. That number to the top right went up to 13. But the but the benefits of it got up as well. So that takes care of that one. I'm not going to use it. So piss off with that. Uh, the other thing is, is that it wanted four separate mods on the same Warframe or same weapon. What this means is you have to have four separate different mods in the exact same slot. Like, I can't just do one weapon here and then put two weapons, or I can't put one mod on my Rhino, two mods on my Ignis, and then, like, the last one on my Graham. No, I, I can't do that. It has to be all in the same, same one. And in order to do this is that we go back to the capacity. I'm pretty sure I explained this as well. And if you see through all my mods, they have numbers, and these are the capacity taking, uh, capacity taking this is how much you can have originally you can only have up to 30 because 30 is the rank the highest rank you can get you get one capacity for every rank 30 is the max but i have a little doodad called a an orican or Orokin reactor for warframes and this basically or a golden potato if you want to learn warframe terminology um it doubles the capacity up to 60 okay so in order to get that objective done for the Venus Junction, we have to do as following. We have to grab four random mods, just chuck them in here, and bing, bada, boom, there you go, four. Now, you know it sucked down my capacity, okay? Not as much as it really should because I put them in, the, in polarities, which I've explained as well. The same sigil as the ones that are in the or polarities. If the polarities match up in the slot and the mod it has the capacity it takes okay it has to have the capacity beginning players if your warframe is say only 16 or even 10 you will have a better chance of getting this objective done if you go all the way to a bunch of these low low leveled unranked mods like say this one okay have this one up there have that that one down there you want to wait until you have, like, your Warframe and or weapon is at least ranked up to, like, 10 or 15. So you have a little bit of capacity to play around with, okay? Once you have that done, then you'll go back up to here. Go back to Earth, and you'll complete your Venus Junction. Now, for clarity's sake, I will do it and show you what it is basically what a venus junction is is that you go in and you beat a little mini boss it'll be another warframe but it, it there's no one it's it's an npc a, a non-player character no one's there okay you go in beat things but and you basically it, overtake the junction it's meant as a test to show what you can do. there's a junction what a junction is, is that you fight a specter of the Warframe that you can farm for the next planet. 
This is a Venus Junction, which means we'll fight a specter of the Warframe we can farm, collect, and build from the boss of Venus. Once we complete, there's our dude up there, and my sentinel basically just one shot it and it died. If you didn't see it before, you could go back and pause the video. It was a rhino specter, not like mine. Mine, mine is a rhino prime. I also have a different skin on. It. What we were fighting was a rhino, just a normal rhino. You go in once you killed him. Now the thing is, is that. Of course, I can't really demonstrate it that well because my character is kind of a little overpowered. Um, but basically, Rhino has an ability to put on armor. He toughens his skin, like so. Okay? On, it basically absorbs a lot of damage. He absorbs a lot of armor. So your best bet to do is uh, basically just try and shoot at them for beginner players stay behind okay stay behind cover shoot at them and all that and eventually his armor will break okay his armor will break your objective is basically just kill him okay once you get that done you're gonna go back and you will extract once you've completed this junction you will have then access to the next planet which in this case is Venus now as we make our way back to our ship we will look at our navigation we completed the Venus Junction now we're gonna go to Venus and now we have a whole new new planet to work on your first mission that you will have unlocked is E-Gate an exterminate for the corpus and you'll be fighting a whole new different type of enemy which is corpus these suckers are highly technical they have high shields low health and impact damage electricity damage ice damage and magnetic damage oftentimes work the best towards them their shields can't take blunt force trauma too well so that aside again do just like you did in the last planet, Earth. You work your way all the way through here. Now, your main goal you really want to work on is making your way all the way up to Fossa. This is an assassination mission. Okay? The assassination mission on Earth, you won't be able to do just yet because you have to be mastery rank 4. If I hover over me, you see that number to the, to the lower right? If I actually... Come on. Uh, do this. See how uh, on my icon right here? That's my profile icon. That 26, that's my master rank. I'm master rank 26. You, in order to go and do the assassinate on Earth, have to be master rank 4. Unless they change it. I can't really check All because I'm in. too high for you that. Alright, so, Fossa. An assassination. What an assassination is, is it's ultimately a boss fight. Just like how in the, in the relay... Or that the relay, the junction. This was a mini boss fight. You fight the frame that you can farm and use from the boss of the next planet, which was Venus, is Venus. And if you go and fight this dude, if you go and fight this dude, and you kill him, and you beat him, you will get a part to Rhino, the normal Rhino, which I actually have. Let me go back to our. This guy. I, this is the basic. Rhino. Now, for beginner players, I highly recommend this is the first frame you work on getting to. When you first begin the game, you will only have about 50 starting platinum, a couple of warframe slots, and a few weapon slots. But you want this dude as your next because of his iron skin ability. New players, new players will not oftentimes know exactly what they're doing, especially if they've never really played very many first or third person shooters or fast action paced games to begin with so his rhino armor will give you an extra boost of health that will oftentimes allow you to have more thinking time to understand what the hell's going on to see what you're doing etc etc okay 
So, that being said, your basic goal is to just keep going through and through and through. You're going to clear all this. You're going to farm the three parts of uh, Rhino, his neuroptics, which is his element, systems and chassis from Fossa. You're going to go to your foundry down here, and you're going to build them. Once you've built them, it's going to take the resources, and it'll take 12 hours in real time to build. Once you get all that done, then you're going to go into the market up here, which is up here by your cockpit. There's a navigation, your codex, here's the market. You go into the market, you got to make sure you got a lot of credits, categories, warframes, and you're going to look for the dude named Rhino. But you can just go up here and search him in. Rhino, you can purchase the blueprint for 35000 and it'll take the fully built neuroptics, chassis and systems which from that fossa mission node on venus the jackal and one gallium at 25,000 credits you will be able to begin building rhino so now that you have all that worked on and done you will then begin to do the same thing working your way to mercury now Mercury is a bit different because you cannot actually get a Warframe from the assassination on Mercury. Rather, you can actually get a different weapon or a different thing from him. You remember we're fighting, uh, you'll actually be fighting Captain Vor as the end of uh, Vor's prize of the tutorial quest. But eventually you can go back and farm him for his uh, for his secondary pistol, his, his weapon, which is uh, the Seer, the Seer pistol. Okay. Decent damage, but it's pretty much the only thing you can farm out of it, but it is mastery fodder to help you get your master rank up, so I do recommend farming the parts for it and building it. And again, you do the Junction, which is another Warframe Spectre, but it's different. And the Junctions, this one will give you two different quests, a weapon uh, blueprint that you can build, another mod, uh, another mod, let's see what all else it gives you, and a little packet of salvage, okay? Now, once you've cleared out all the mission nodes in Venus, you've gotten the Rhino uh, parts from the Jackal, you've gotten to Mercury, cleared out all of Mercury, and gotten the weapon from uh, Captain Vort, okay? Then you make your way back to Earth, which you've pretty much already cleared out, okay? From here on out, you can go to Lua, uh, which I don't think you'll actually unlock until later in the game, so don't really worry about this. But these missions are kind of irritating to do, so until you get a better handle on the mechanics and movement mechanics on the game, don't worry about it. Uh, from here on out, you go to Mars. Now, here is one thing, and I should have said this at the beginning. You do not worry about Cetus and Plains of Eidolon. Do not worry about these. This is one of the reasons why I said you want to work your way towards Venus, because you have to get through these two in order to get to Mars. And work your way down. Because Cetus and Plains of Eidolon is an entirely different different thing in general same thing goes for fortuna and or Vallis. these are open world areas and towns they were uh put in in the past two years uh or Vallis and fortuna are the newest ones and i will be doing a separate uh video for each of these uh separately and they're going to be both two-parters because there is quite a bit of content in both so uh, once you've completed all that, you're doing good. At this point, you're you're pretty much done. If you absolutely felt like you want to, you can go to Cetus and Plains of Eidolon. You could just from the you can actually do it from the very beginning. Cetus and Plains of Eidolon. You can actually do it just so you can get like one bounty done, one mission done. Say the mission nodes turn white if they're not already there. Skip over them do that mission node which is uh, Eurasia and go into the Mars Junction fight that one and on up 
that's how you do that's once you start completing progress now once you get all that part done at this point we'll be ready to get on to the next part which I will be doing here very shortly so solar map clear out all this Venus Junction clear out all the Venus get rhino parts head uh, get the get rhino neuroptics chassis and systems from fossa the jackal and all that mercury junction get to mercury clear out all the mercury and get the seer pistol from tostoles okay captain Vor. once you've done that you're ready for the next part and the next part will be here in just a second. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will hope to see all of you in the next one. Toodles!